What is going on YouTube, just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing the HBr and ROOR mechanism with alkenes, or hydrobromic acid and peroxide. Just a couple things I want to go over before I actually start. I will only be showing the major products for each reaction. So some reactions will have more products than I draw, but I'm just going to draw the products that are important for the continuation of the mechanism. In addition, I will be using the arrow pushing method to show the movement of electrons, and in this particular mechanism, it will be a radical mechanism. So the reactant that I want to start with is this one, and then that's going to react with HBr and peroxide. And then by the end of this mechanism, we will know what the product or products are. So this mechanism starts with the breaking of the peroxide, so, and since this is a radical mechanism, we will be using fish hook arrows to show electron movement, so one there and one there, and then this is going to be reversible to form OR with an electron on the O, and then that's going to be used to react with HBr, and so one electron is going to go to the bromine, and one is going to go with this electron here, and that is going to form a bromine with an electron, and then we can use our reactant with the bromine, and then so one electron is going to go here, and the other one is going to come up with the electron with the bromine, and that's going to form it's going to form a racemic mixture, one where the bromine is a wedge, so it's coming out of the page, and one where the bromine is a dash going into the page. By this we can say that there is no stereochemical control of how the bromine adds and also the bromine adds on the less substituted side, also known as anti-Markovnikov addition. So then this racemic mixture is going to react with another HBr, and again one electron is going to go to the bromine, and one's going to come up here and combine with this electron, and then that's going to form this racemic mixture of diastereomers. Again, we have no stereochemical control of how this hydrogen adds right here, so it can go either on top of the methyl group or below it, so you can form either a wedge or a dash here. So these are our products. Essentially we have four products total. So a couple notes on this mechanism. It is a radical mechanism. So we use fish hook arrows. We have no stereochemical control of H and Br, and the Br adds on less substituted side, also known as anti-Markov-Nikov addition. So that's it for this mechanism. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe 
and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.